In the last video, we had a look at applying a range filter to our dashboard. Now, we've done quite a lot in this video series. We've been able to look at the two options of embedding Tableau dashboards um, by using the embed code, but also by using the JavaScript API. We've been able to create an HTML page, a JavaScript um, file, and also start interacting with our web page. So we're able to hide our visualization, show it, export to PDF and image, and then also apply some filters. Now, there's a lot more capabilities and, and also possibilities of the JavaScript API. Um, but uh, what I now want to look at is, and, and this will be the last video in this series, is uh, another thing called um, kind of authentication. How do we authenticate people when they look at their dashboards? Because what we've been doing at the moment is we are using a um, Tableau public dashboard. Now, you don't want to, if you have uh, sensitive data, publish that onto Tableau public and have everyone be able to access that. What you want is to embed Tableau in, in your own portal or in your own product that you have. Now, Tableau has um, created this thing called the uh, Tableau Embed Playbook. Um, and the Tableau Embed Playbook is a really good um, kind of document where you can read through all of the moving parts of embedding Tableau in your portal. So if we uh, go to the embed playbook here, it's, um, I'll put the link in the, in the show notes. Um, we have kind of these options on the left hand side. So it tells us what is embedding, which you've now know, which you've learned. We've done the JavaScript API. And now in this section about authentication and single sign on, this is what you really need to think about when you start embedding Tableau. Now, first of all, the main question that you need to ask yourself is, are we going to use Tableau server or Tableau online? Um, and depending on that choice, you have different options. Now, the majority of the people use Tableau server as um, for embedding. And within Tableau server, you then have two options as well. So if you're on user-based licensing, a, um, a good way to work with embedded is using uh, trusted authentication. If you are um, using core-based licensing at Tableau, um, you have access to the so-called guest account. This guest account is basically, um, if I go to the documentation here, um, so core-based licenses of Tableau Server include a guest account, which basically means you can let people access Tableau views without an account on the server. So it's almost a little bit like Tableau public in a way that you can display it publicly. Okay, You, of course, have a lot more controls over what people can see and what can people do. And I wouldn't compare the functionality the same with Tableau public, but what I would compare it with is the ability to, to display this to a, a wider audience. Now that's the guest user. Um, if you have core based license, this is enabled by default. Um, so you don't have to enable that. Um, and that basically means that you don't get a login uh, pop-up saying, hey, log in and, and access this, this view. Now, I already mentioned, and this is uh, one of the most common ways of um, embedding Tableau is by using trusted authentication. Now, what trusted authentication does is it's basically what it will do for you is it will give you a list, and this is something you need to add to your Tableau server, is you need to add a last list of trusted hosts. That, so that means that if a request comes from that particular host, which is then trusted, it will give you a token. And that trusted token is then being added to the URL of your Tableau dashboard. Okay, so um, if we go to the, uh, let's see here, here we go, authentication and single sign-on. For trusted authentication, um, you can see here the configuration. This is a one-step um, process. So you first, in Tableau Server, you configure which IP addresses you want to trust. Then after that, these are all, um, of, of often just web applications. So that can be the actual application on which you host um, the, um, the web application, so the portal. 
uh, what we then do is when actually people go to that page that contains the Tableau dashboard, the uh, page makes a post request to uh, the server that is trusted. Now, when that is successful, it returns you a ticket. And that particular ticket is then added to the view. So the client then loads the view with the ticket. We hop back into this setup here. You can kind of see how this works. So we have Tableau server here. It makes a basically a request to the uh, web server, the one that's being trusted. It then goes to Tableau server and say, hey, is this a trusted entity? Tableau says, yes, let's go back. So it then sends you back a ticket. Once you got the ticket, you send the ticket to Tableau server, including the URL of the server, and then it renders back the dashboard. Now, this is a, a fairly quick process. Um, um, and there's like a TSM command, but you can also do this in um, the TSM um, user interface to add these uh, trusted entities. And this documentation is quite good. It, it walks you through what you need to do. At the information lab, we um, have set up a Lambda function to return these uh, tickets for us. Now, if you're just starting out with um, embedding Tableau, I would first start learning a little bit more about the JavaScript API, about JavaScript as such as well. Um, and then maybe start playing with this if this is something you, uh, you'd like to, to do in your, um, in your portal. So if we then go here, we also have some other options. So you can use Kebras, Active Directory, SAML, and OpenID. Um, those are mainly for single sign-on experiences. So that means if someone is um, already authenticated somewhere, um, you can then automatically authenticate someone. So for um, good examples are here, for example, uh, Okta and OneLogin, those allow you to uh, sign in once somewhere and then you're authenticated in Tableau as well. Okay. Um, one of the other things to mention around embedding and Tableau is um, around um, user filtering. So in Tableau, you can set up user filters. And those user filters also uh, propagate down to the dashboard that you're embedding. So if you do and set up a user filter in Tableau dashboards, though those, per those people sorry, that also log in to the server then see the content that's only relevant for them. Okay, so um, this section of the playbook talks about user management, content management, and the REST API. So this is, for example, a, an example of how a particular dashboard could look. Okay, that's quite quite a nice example. Um, now, for example, another thing that you can do with Tableau is embedded into Salesforce or embedded into SharePoint, kind of anywhere where you have a little web object or a web application, you can embed Tableau. Okay? If you're interested in learning more about embedding Tableau into Salesforce, then I would um, I would link to the um, the videos that I've done uh, previously about embedding uh, Tableau dashboards into Salesforce, and we're actually using some uh, Salesforce data there. So thanks a lot for um, joining these uh, videos. It was lots of fun to um, explain the concepts of the Tableau JavaScript API. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can put them in the comments or you, um, you can contact me on the various uh, social media.